Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, and welcome to another episode of the Dr. Clay Show. I'm your host, Dr. Clay Hyde. Now, today's episode, we're going to talk about something I think is uh, pretty exciting, pretty uh, new, sort of some cutting edge research, and it has to do with a surprising benefit of exercise, which is what I'm doing now. Multitasking, killing two birds with one stone, getting in my walk, as well as filming this episode. Even though some people driving by think it's a little odd, that's fine if they're entertained, that's cool. Alright, but here's the deal with exercise, in particular cardiovascular exercise. Now, this is uh, recently on my mind, because I gotta admit, in finishing up uh, the book, uh, Set Your Metabolism on Fire, I, for a couple of weeks, neglected my morning cardio exercise. And I could tell that I, I felt the difference, not only physically, but sort of like mentally a little more foggy. And that supports new research that's coming out all the time that says that exercise, cardiovascular exercise, especially um, longer distance or longer duration exercise basically makes you smarter. It helps prevent cognitive decline or basically helps decrease the rate at which your brain ages. Now you know it's been known for quite some time that the uh, mental, mentally challenging your brain, you know, the use it or lose it principle, that if you challenge your brain that your brain will you know age more gracefully and less subject to cognitive decline but what we're finding out is that actually exercise does a better job than even mental exercise I mean physical exercise does a better job in fact a 2001 study done here close to me in University of California San Francisco showed that in a large group of women that the group that exercised the most had a 30 percent decreased risk of cognitive decline. It's pretty cool. Now, but, but it's not just that one study. There are tons of studies that are showing that over and over. So it really seems to be something that is uh, pending out to be factual, not just theoretical. Now, I'll close with this interesting tidbit. It is not, it seems, it is not the exercise intensity that is most responsible for getting the cognitive results it is exercise duration, in fact walking. And some people think that it has to do that if you walk or exercise for longer periods of time, which from a you know most purist standpoint would involve walking distances, that you would be exposed to more stimuli and therefore your brain would uh, be seeing and hearing and experiencing more things. Thus, why it works so well. So who knows. But Regardless, it seems for certain that a walk of you know, at least 30 minutes, even up to 60 minutes each and every day, it doesn't even have to be that intense, but will do your brain wonders. So, do like I'm re-implementing a habit, and that is daily cardiovascular exercise to keep your mind sharp as well as your body lean and looking good. Till next time, I'm Dr. Clay.